Okay, so this is going to be our, our setup that we're going to use to program the controller. Um, you're going to be connecting your computer or laptop um, through a direct connection, or if you want, you can just um, connect through a network. Um, it's a, an IP based controller, so either of these methods are going to work. Um, the training controller has been pre programmed. Um, so it has the following user and password shown here admin training 12345. Um, it has two Ethernet ports on it. Um, these act like a switch, so um, it only has one IP address. Um, by default, it comes out of the box um, as DHCP, which means it waits to be assigned an IP address by the modem on the network. Um, but if no, if you connect it to a network with no modem, it's just going to have a default IP address 169.254.xxx.yyy where those numbers are determined by the last two MAC address um, numbers on the port. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, um, you probably don't have to worry too much. So I've currently configured the sub the controller's IP address to 192.168.1.141. Um, so all you have to do is match your PC's IP address to the same subnet of the controller. Um, and I'll show you what that looks like. I'm not going to go too deep into you know networking and subnetting because there's literally thousands of videos that explain that a lot better than I ever can. So if you do have trouble with networking, um, you should probably um, look at some other material. Okay. Just bring it up now. Okay, so my PC is on 192.168.1.2 and it has this as the subnet mask which matches the subnet mask on the controller. I know I have it written it down here um, but we're going to go in and have a look at that in a minute. Um, now you might notice that this value was different from the 141 on the end. That has to happen. You should not be having um, clashes on your IP networks. Every um, device should have a unique IP address in reference to that particular network. Okay. Um, so once you've got this all set up, um, you should be able to um, ping the controller. So a ping is just typing in the words into the command prompt. Ping followed by the IP address. And that will confirm the connection. You know, if, if you cannot see the controller, um, you'll get something like this. Okay. Now these controllers predominantly speak on um, HTTP. S by default and then HTTP if you allow them, um, which means, um, for those who don't know, that is the web serving port. Because we've shown to have a connection to this controller, you should be able to just open any browser, um, type in the HTTPS, um, colon backslash backslash or forward slash forward slash rather followed by the IP address clicking enter will take you to the login page sometimes um, Chrome will warn you that it's an unsecured device which basically means the certificate provided by the device um, is unknown to the Chrome browser and to Google in general 
um, and that it might be a malicious attack, but we know that the device is not malicious. Um, so if you click on advanced and then proceed to device in that case. Um, okay, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.